Muscle attachments can be remembered in groups of three. Anterior aspect of the radius has got three muscles attached. One muscle gets attached on this anterior oblique line called as the flexor digitorum superficialis. Okay, anterior oblique line when we extend downwards, that is the anterior border of the radius. Okay, then there is a large area for a muscle called as flexor pollicis longus muscle. Pollex refers to the thumb. Okay, radius being the lateral bone, the muscle to the thumb will arise from here. Then this area is for pronator quadratus muscle. Okay, the color codes are for origin and insertion. Okay, the pink or the red color code is for the origin. Okay, blue color code means insertion of the muscle. Okay, In lateral aspect of the radius there are three muscles attached from above downwards. Okay, this muscle is a supinator muscle. Then this is pronator teres muscle, and this is brachioradialis muscle. Okay, so three muscles on the lateral aspect and in the posterior aspect of the radius we know this projection here that's called as the radial tuberosity the rough posterior aspect of radial tuberosity gives attachment to the biceps brachii muscle okay and there are two other muscles abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis muscle on the posterior aspect of shaft of radius okay then there would be ligaments attached on the radius superiorly there would be the fibrous capsule of the elbow joint, the annular ligament, the interosseous membrane is also a ligament. Okay. Then at the lower end there would be extensor retinaculum attached and there is an articular disc which separates ulna from the wrist joint. Okay. And applied anatomy of radius if we see the pulse is palpated in front of the radius. Okay. So this smooth surface helps in palpating the pulse. Then there could be fracture in this part called as the coles fracture, fracture of distal part of the radius in which this distal fragment is displaced backwards. Okay, there is an opposite fracture called as Smith's fracture in which the distal fragment is displaced forwards. Okay, then there could be a fracture of the styloid process called as Chaffier's fracture. Okay, so this was about attachments and the applied anatomy of radius bone. Thank you.